the Raul Rosas Jr. fight. He went up against Terrence Mitchell. Terrence Mitchell. So, uh, Terrence Mitchell going into this felt like, yo, they trying to set your boy up here to boost up Raul yeah. Rosas Jr. on Noche de UFC. The inaugural <laughs> Noche de UFC. Uh, yep. Right. Uh, and, and he just recently got a loss when there was a big hype train behind him. So I'm not that guy. Like, don't put me up against Raul Rosas Jr. to build him up because I'm going to break him down. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then um, and then what happened? Well, yeah, they give him this bounce back fight, really. And and I don't yeah. I'm not a huge fan of stuff like this, to be honest, in the UFC. Like they say, like, no, there's no easy fights. And I don't mean that with any disrespect to Terrence Mitchell, but um, this should not have been. Uh, this isn't this wasn't a ufc fight to me this seemed like you see like regional fights where uh people can just be a buzzsaw right and then the guy's just like oh my god and they cower down um i'm not saying that 100 percent happened in this fight but uh somebody with more experience um wouldn't have uh fought like this he, immediately they're swinging at each other and terrence mitchell is like i'm just gonna throw super hard back and he's swinging these big shots missing completely uh and you can tell he was fighting like very nervous and like uncomfortable in the fire you know um yep and i mean look at this look at this picture oh yeah You're not wide open there just wide yeah, open. not good uh and eventually i mean they're just swinging at each other and eventually raul lands on him drops him and then pounds him out with the ground and pound i think this picture is fucking sick by the way it reminds me of like old school like th- there's a there's a picture of shogun like flying over to land like a flying punch over someone's legs i thought this picture is fucking sick um but that being said it's it doesn't mean i'm, I'm not trying to um knock on raul right because they put somebody in front of you you're supposed to do your job and he did it perfectly and he did yeah. um but it's weird when the ufc picks and chooses who gets matchups like this um because Chase Hooper was kind of in a similar situation as Raul, right? Very young guy. Um, less hype, stuff. though. Less hype, but after he won that first fight with via ground and pound, people were like, whoa, he's like 20 years old. He looks like, I mean, he looked like me in high school, you know? Um, and and then they're like, hey, your second fight? Bruce Leroy. And it was like, oh, shit, they're throwing, they're throwing Hooper to the wolves. And he <laughs> lost that fight. And then there was nothing like this, you know? Um, for Chase Hooper. And it's just weird when they pick and choose. I get it. It's no check UFC, right? Get, get Raul a, a finish out here. Um, yeah. The odds on this fight, um, like there's, there's websites where you can pick like, is this going to go over a certain, over certain minutes or under certain minutes? Right. Um, the mark for this one was uh, four minutes. So that tells you what the, uh, what the match or the odds makers thought of this fight. <laughs> But you know, wow. you do what you got to do uh, with what's presented to you, and 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 he uh, did what he was supposed to do in this fight. Yeah, uh, you know, and during uh, you know those pre-fight interviews where they use those clips to you know build up the fight, and Raul Rosas Jr. was like, "Hey, you know, you know, UFC is talking about uh, Mexican fighters and what being a Mexican fighter means to him." And he even said like he like he's excited to give an old school Mexican war to go out there. And in my head, I'm like, "Okay, dude." Like you're gonna <laughs> grapple this guy, you're gonna take him down, you're yeah. choke him out, do your job, get out there, right? And uh, one of my friends texted me too. He said, uh, "How many, how many punches does Raul Rosas throw before he shoots for a takedown?" <laughs> was uh, that friend you know, me? <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> and, and then, you know, props to Raul Rosas Jr. came out and said, "Hey, yeah. tonight for Noche de UFC, Noche UFC, your boy's swinging and banging," yep. you know. And he went out there and landed a big shot right between the top lip and the nose. Boop. Dude went down, jumps on him. Rest is history. So uh, an exciting moment for that uh, Las Vegas crowd. Hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap uh the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here uh don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have uh and don't forget to tune in live every sunday morning at 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern uh and you can join in on the fun yeah don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell goes a long way all right everybody thanks for watching that short clip from story of the fight